the operators of Rainbow Six Extraction will face a new challenge and question what is real during the latest crisis event. Nightmare Fog is a free limited time mode available from May 12th to June 2nd, where you and your team must venture into a toxic purple haze to find and destroy the toxic tree, a parasite structure triggering the toxic fog. The fog causes operators to hallucinate, and the more you're exposed to it, the more your neurotoxin levels increase. And once those levels pass 30%, you're going to have trouble telling the difference between the hallucinated Archeans and the very real Archeans that want to murder you. Speaking of death, did we mention that if your neurotoxin levels reach 100%, you'll start to take damage to your own health? Well, you will. The second crisis event also introduces new React tech, the Rush Pistol. Shoot stims at your teammates or yourself to give or gain a movement speed boost and invulnerability for a short period of time. You can only carry two stims at a time, so make them count. In this crisis event, you and your team need to manage your neurotoxin levels and accomplish three objectives in three subzones covered in Nightmare Fog. And trust me when I say that it's much easier said than done. First up is a regular objective, like nest tracking if you're lucky, or triangulation, which amps up the difficulty level. The longer it takes you to look for all three seismic stations in the fog, the more your neurotoxin levels increase. You'll want to keep an eye on those levels, which you can monitor next to your health bar. From 30 to 65%, you'll start to see and hear fake enemies rushing you. From 65 to 100%, you'll also experience a fun mix of tunnel vision, motion blur, and distorted vision. Plus, at 100%, you'll see deteriorating screen edges, and your HP will slowly drain. To decrease your neurotoxin levels, keep an eye out for safe rooms on the map, which are clear of fog and contain Neurostim refill stations. One Neurostim shaves 35% off your neurotoxin level. Don't forget to share with your team. Now back to the task at hand. To get rid of the awful toxic fog, there are two more objectives. Your second objective is an oldie but a goodie, decontamination. But this time, the aberrant nests are spread out and tougher to find, with plenty of Archeans roaming around ready to set them off. If your team survives long enough to take out all the nests and collect a sample, the toxic tree causing the fog will lose half of its health. Source is decreasing its energy output. Now it's time to destroy the toxic tree in the third subzone. First, you've got to locate it. But before you start attacking the toxic tree, hit up a safe zone and keep those neurotoxin levels in check. Neurostim detected. Similar to the MIA rescue mission, you'll be shooting anchor points and arc cells to drain the toxic tree's energy. But you will be attacked on all sides by Archeans while doing so. You may want to set up some defense before you start the attack and do some sprawl cleanup to get around. Alibi's decoys might also come in handy to distract enemies. Once you've taken care of the anchor points, take down the toxic tree's core to eliminate it, and bye-bye Nightmare Fog. Plus, there's also a new prestige level system, in which operators can rank up 10 new prestige progression levels. Now is the perfect time to jump back into the tactical co-op action of Rainbow Six Extraction. Subscribe to this channel to keep up with the new events and operators coming to the game, and for all the latest news, visit us at news.ubisoft.com.